Welcome to 10 Minute KQL. Whether you're a technology pro looking to master the Kusto query language or new to the world of IT and looking to learn your first language, 10 Minute KQL is a place to level up your skills. This is the eighth session in the Kusto query language beginner series. This series is intended to take you from a level with minimal technical experience to writing your first basic queries using the KQL language. These short 10 minute sessions will teach you KQL, allow you to get hands-on practice in a lab environment, and provide some homework to practice after the session. In the last session, we discussed how to use comparison operators to work with numbers, the use of project to manipulate the fields that are displayed, and we showed how to access a free log analytics workspace to practice query. In today's session, we'll learn limit, top, and the Boolean operators of AND and OR. If you find value in these videos, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you want to receive notifications of new videos, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. In previous sessions, we learned how to use WHERE to filter the original data set based on fields of interest. If we had multiple WHERE statements, we simply used a pipe on a new line. While this is fine, we wanted to show an alternate approach. You can use AND without using a pipe to accomplish your filtering. In this example, we have two WHERE statements used to filter two different fields. We can use AND in this case with one WHERE statement. When using AND, both conditions must be met for the results to display. While you can place multiple statements on the same line, it's common to place each new AND statement on a new line for ease of readability and debugging. Since it doesn't contain a pipe, you might see some people indent the AND for ease of readability. We wanted to show you that there's many ways to write the same thing. Some ways are just more stylistic but they perform the same output. While the query that provides the intended output is the best query, you can start to see that patterns of style, clarity, and readability can often be viewed as making the query better. When we use the double equals, the not equals to, and, and or, these can be referred to as Boolean operators, or they can also be referred to as logical operators. They're synonymous terms. If you have two or more AND statements, all of the conditions must be true for the results to be present. In this example, we have two WHERE statements. And we can see the number of records returned below. If we replace the second WHERE with AND, which in this case means both the process name equals Python 3 and the source IP is the loopback address, both must be present to produce an output record. If we change the AND to an OR, then as long as either of the two conditions are met, an output record will populate. If the source IP meets our condition, or if the process name meets our condition, the record will be in the output. If a record exists where both conditions are met, it will also be in the output dataset. If we have two AND conditions that must be met, then we have an additional OR condition to consider. We can use the parentheses. This query is saying both the destination port must be 80 and the protocol must be TCP for one condition to be true. It's also saying that the destination IP must be the IP listed beginning with 20 for the second condition to be true. Since the OR statement is used here, if either of those two conditions are true, then the results will be displayed. To clean up the output, we've only projected the three fields of interest. As we look at the output, we can easily see the first two conditions, which are the destination port of 80 and the protocol of TCP, both being together. But here we see an example of the second condition being true, which is the destination IP. So it's also displayed even though the first condition was not met because OR was used. We first learned to use WHERE as a filter. And in this example, we're using WHERE in combination with an asterisk. First, we're starting with a VM connection table. And we're looking in all fields that have 389. 
389 could be in any field in the table and still meet our filtering criteria. We can see many 389s in the destination port field. As we scroll down, we see a record that is not 389. As we look in the other fields, we can see 389 in the byte sent field. While this method can be useful, it can also provide a wide variety of record field types that contain the defined value. So this is more of a probing tactic for awareness and to gather information so that we can add to our query and build it in a better way. In previous sessions, we mentioned that sort by and order by were both produce the same results. In previous sessions, we also learned that the take operator would give us a random sample from the table to help us see what output data might come back. Limit does the same thing as take and is a synonymous term. It's more common to see take used in KQL for a random sample, but we wanted to describe limit in case you see it in queries. Another new operator is top. While take gives you random records, top produces a set number of records from the top of the results based on how the data set is ordered. As an example, in this query, we're seeing the 10 most recent records sorted by time generated in descending order. Using take produces random results. Top maintains the order that we've defined. The syntax with top versus take is slightly different. When we use top, we see that the timestamps are in order. But when we run the query using take, the timestamps are no longer in order. Let's do a practical exercise using what we've just learned. Let's start by taking a sample of sign-in logs table. Let's find the top 10 by time generated in descending order. Let's do one more practical example using the VM connection table. Let's find results where the remote latitude is greater than or equal to 60. Or the response time max is greater than 1000. When we look at the results, if either condition was met, a record is produced. For this week's homework assignment using the Log Analytics Demo Environment and the Windows Firewall table, write a query that shows the following results. First, provide a count of the number of Windows Firewall communications that have both a destination port of 80 and a protocol of TCP. As a hint, the number of records displayed by default on the screen has a maximum number it will not exceed. But by using the proper operators that we discussed in previous sessions, you can produce an accurate result. Again, we're looking for a definitive count. That's all for today's session on limit, top, and, and or. In the next session, we'll learn how to work with time. We'll learn the between and a go operators. If you find value in these videos, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you want to receive notifications of new videos, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell.